Hi everyone and welcome to a new version of my videos. I have gone to another way of displaying my episodes and all that. You might see that I have gone to my old tagline, A Hitchhiker's Guide to Service Now. So this is officially episode one, where we're going to talk about how you can actually script and send messages to different uh, connect channels or conversations that you have. And I'm going to go through how you can do it through scripts using, the, of course, the new one, the flows and workflows as well. Uh, it's been recorded in the London release, which might be good to know as well. And the one that is speaking is me, if the... There we go. My name is uh, Jaron Lundqvist, or Goran, aka the, the Witch Doctor. I put in some uh, connect information if you want to just uh, connect or have a, a chat or something about ServiceNow. Also link to my, my GitHub and my YouTube channel. And a little bit about myself, what I do, do mostly everything about ServiceNow. Been both a customer and a consultant nowadays. I uh, love playing around with the community, try to help people out, uh, and so on. But that's about me. What we're really going to look about is how to set this up. We're going to look uh, into the table, the group live profile, what that's used for. How does the API look for connect? And then I'm going to show you how to set this up in a workflow, the old fashioned way. And as well, how to use it in a flow and so on as well. So let's get going and let me get over to my instance. And I have actually two, let me get them correctly like that. So basically what we're looking for is this was actually a question on the community where someone would like to, to notify a specific member or members that uh, important uh, rhythm or requested item has uh, been created. And they didn't want to use the normal email or something like that. And my suggestion, which I have done before is to actually send a connect message, meaning that if you're logged in, you will get a nice little pop up here saying that there is a new message and you don't need to wait for an email with all the other emails and so on as well. And that's the reason why in the background I have actually logged in as Beth and just showing her little icon here so we actually can see that it will pop up and let's close that one as well like this there we go so we're going to talk about uh, connect let's go to the api side just to show you it's quite simple actually when you get the hang of it so we go to api and service i think it was and then we have let's say connect and here we go <coughs> Not that one. Where did it go? Con. Connect, 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 connect. I always click on the wrong places to find this one. Let's do it like this. Let's search. Uh, connect. Searching. And here we go. And API. And this one, I think it is. Here we is. Connect conversation. And basically, the only thing we're going to use is the send message functionality, which is pretty much like this. You see. When I want to do some more advanced, we can actually use, let's get to the top one, this one to add people in out of the conversation. Because at the moment you can't add group and all the members of the group out of the box. You have to ask to add one user at a time. But what we're going to do is like this. Normally you can use connect to follow different uh, different tasks and you can of course also talk to just a user and we're going to make a group just like that not connected to any task at all so let's go into table because I don't remember the name of the 
live group profile. Here we go. And I think there are some junk from my, my old test one. Let's go into that one and let's create. Yeah, here it is. But let's uh, create a new one from the start. We'll create this one and call this very important requested items like that i'll hit save now you can see since i created this one it's adding me as a member but in this case we would like to add beth as well because she is the one we're logged into so that makes most sense but in the case you will add all the different members you would like to use and then of course you can in a scripted way use for example this one to add users or this one to remove users from this group but now we have Beth and system admin in this group now what we need to to remember is the sysid of this group just to remember that one I'll copy it and I'll get my notepad and I'll just paste that in in another screen can we use that later on so that's the first step create the live group profile next step is to actually get the different script and we can actually just take send message just to show you and here it is let's take that code and we'll just do it in the script background first i'll hit this one there we go and i'll just do like this for group id and i'll just paste in the sysid of the live group like that and we'll remove that one here we'll just say group id and then we'll remove and just hey say hello world let's just keep that as a that is the message i would like to send i just run that one and you can see the number one popped up directly. If I hit Beth, you can see that now the group is showing. And here you have everything that has been pasted into that one. So we know that the, the script works. So let's uh, get back and let's hit uh, workflows. I'll remove that one. And <clears throat> I really don't like workflows that much anymore since the flow designer popped up but we still use it a lot so let's let's give it a go how you can do it here as well sadly you can't really reuse it the same way you can do it in the flows but we're going to take a look at uh, let's see let's go into a catalog item normally i used to order the iphone because i normally don't order that one anywhere else so let's hit this one, I think. Yeah, the workflow is procurement, process, flow, oh, where you go? Mobile. So let's find that one. Let's just write mobile. And I'm going to check it out. And now we'd like to put the same code in here and let's put it at the start so we don't have to do so much so what we need to do is take the run script and i'll see if i can get the line to turn blue there we go and i'll name this one come on can i be allowed to type to send click message and let's fetch this one and of course you can for example depending on how you set it up you might want to put that in a in a property with the sysid or how you would like to fetch it in the workflow activity you can't really do the same stuff as you can do in the flow where you select the, the actual group and so on uh, so let's just do the same or group id Oops, it was the sysid I wanted, like that. Then I'll go in here and I'll just group ID. 
and then I will just remove this one and didn't complain anymore. So a new important request has been ordered. And we just add the number which is current dot get value number. So we want to send a message in the channel just pointing out this one has been uh, created. So let's hit submit. Let's make sure that it's actually yeah, blue blue and try to make it look a little bit better. I hate these lines going <laughs> haywire when you try to move them around. So we have that one. Let's go in and try ordering this phone. We'll order it now. And bloop bloop, you can see the system admin and now you can actually see a new message directly. And in this case, it actually gives you easily click on this one. So I can actually go directly to the requested item as well, which is a, a really nice functionality. But then of course, the bad part about this is that if you want to use this functionality in multiple places, you actually need to go and redo the whole coding in the next workflow as well. So that was how you did it in a workflow. Quite simple, you can of course make a lot more complex messages and so on. Now let's look at the flow designer. And let's um, take a look at, we want to create a new flow just to show you. We just call this iPhone show connect just to show you how, that we can have a flow that we actually use for that one. And we'll put that one in the ITSM spoke, I guess, submit it. Oh yeah, darn, I forgot one thing. I haven't activated on my instance, so I can use this as a, as a, what is it called? Let me fix that one. Use it in a service catalog. Let me just activate that one while we wait. And I'll log into that one. And log in. You forget that noise in the background. Sorry about that one. Um, I'll see if I can remove it from the video. It's my wife that is actually doing dinner. <laughs> can I pause it? And for those who haven't seen it, if you go into the developer login, this is where you activate. You can actually use Flow Designer for the service catalog as well. Just hit that one and it will soon be activated. But does it matter? We can continue while we wait for that one. I'm just going to show you actions. We click on actions. We have connect now. And as you can see, out of the box, we can add users to a task conversation add a user to a task and send message to a task. But what we want to do is send messages to a conversation that isn't connected to a task. So we need to create our own action for this one. So let's do that. We'll go back, a new action. And we're going to call this send message to non-task conversation. And since we already had 
uh, connect spoke. Let's put it in that one so it will pop up that this action will actually show where the other connects ones are as well. And description used to send message to non pause conversations. Uh, a simple description, pretty much the same as the name, but it doesn't really matter. So, two things I guess we need to add for the user is that the user needs to give us two inputs of pods so it can be reused. We need to know which group you want to send the message to, and of course, what is the message you would like to send. Uh, so, let's do it like this. We'll hit input. Uh, here we go. I'll just do it like that. While we wait, create input. We'll have this to which group do you want to send a message to? And good part of this, you can have whatever label you want. It doesn't create a variable name after a label, which it normally does when you create stuff in ServiceNow. And we like to do this as a reference field, of course, and point to the live group profile and of course this needs to be a mandatory input when you want another one what message do you want to send let's add a question mark as well put as a string and that's enough for me then we need to add what are we going to do we're going to do some scripting and let's remove that one and let's just take the code again because this is pretty much what we're going to use we'll paste that one in now we have two inputs the group and what one sent and of course we need to create variables for those ones so we'll call this one group id and the value for this variable is what they actually put in there and then we create another one called message we call it conversation message just because message might be a stop word or something like that so i just add that one and of course we want whatever the user puts in that field in there so in here instead of having this sysid we type inputs dot and the variable name group id and for the message we'll just put in like this and oh, oops inputs dot there we go we don't need to do anything else besides this one i'll just save it and we're ready to publish it so everyone can use this action and that is the best part, one of the best parts about Flow is that you can easily do these kind of reusable actions for the people. They don't need to know this code. We create this action for them and then just put these two in. So let me do like this. I'll, hmm. I've seen that my plugin has been activated. The question is, is reloading this page enough for it to actually pop up? Ah, service catalog. There we go. So this flow is going to be used in the service catalog. That's done. Let's add it to an action. And in this case, we just want to do the show. Of course, normally you would like to have the whole flow just in the workflow. But we click on connect. And now you can see our nice uh, custom action is actually here. You can, of course, make your own custom table or in a category or something like that but i think it's better to put it in connect because that is where the rest of the connect stuff is so that one is what we want to use and you can see here are the two inputs we created so which group do you want to send it to what did we call it a very important oops very important request on that group and the message is Oh no, a uh, very important the writ has been ordered. 
And then of course, we can use the data column here and say that I would like to put in the number here as well, just like we did on the, like that. Didn't it, what happened? Number, number, number. Ah, there we go, done. Let's just click and see, oh no, do, 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 and we have the number, yeah. Save that one, and I think that is actually it. Let's activate that one. I'll go into the order status, and we'll go back to our iPhone. And we change, so it will run on the flow instead of the workflow. Remove that one, and we'll use our own. I'll hit save. Let's try it. order now and let's see it should pop up here not that fast as the as the workflow did I mess something up with my with my save, perhaps. Let's go back to the catalog item. It's the correct flow. iPhone show connect. Well, let's give it a shot and see if, oh, it's an error. Hmm. Let's see what happened. No live group profile found for object client record. Ah, now I know I did something wrong. And of course, let's go. Didn't I have here? Yeah, let's remove that one. Yeah, I did an error here, of course. Uh, <coughs> the group ID isn't that value uh, because then I put in the group rep record of course I want the sys ID in here so let's do it like that since this was a reference field I got the whole glad uh, record and then put it up in there so let's save that one I'm not really sure if I need to republish it but I'll I'll hit that one as well. Making sure. Then we'll go back to our item. Well, we got a little bit of troubleshooting on the flow design as well. That's kind of nice. Let's order it again. It's been ordered. I'm just peering down at my, yeah, there we go. And you can see that now we have the correct text. The only difference, which I hope will be fixed in the next release, is that you can see that I actually get a, a good, nice link. Uh, I might need to do something else to get this as a URL or a clickable, but at the moment it's just a text field. This one is, of course, nicer in that way. But you can see that it worked. Um, I was just thinking about, oh now I forgot it. Well, I, I think that was about it. I'll see if I can come up with what I was thinking about. No, let's skip that one. So what we actually did just to do a reflection was that we, we created a group live profile, added uh, the members 
to that profile. And we took a quick look at the API for the, the connect when I finally found it. We put up a, in a workflow just to show you how it could look like in the, and run script activity in the work, normal workflow. And then we created a reusable action in the flow and did the same stuff in there. Uh, and just to, to show you that I'm trying to, to do as our fellow Shuck does is that the coding I'm doing, I'm actually putting in my, in my GitHub. I have one from my last video where I actually put in the different the client scripts and so on. And in this case, I actually put in both the specific connect message, just like it is on the docs, so you can get that one. And I actually did an uh, update set as well and put the whole code in here. So you can actually get the, the, the custom action that I did create. Because when you create a custom action, it creates a lot of records and not only one record. So I put that one in an update set instead. So you can just download that one. It's a XML file and just upload it as a update set in your own instance. Yeah, now I remember what was. Last thing is that we we're talking about or I noticed is that as you saw the message was actually posted as system and in here you can see it was the system administrator. Let's just take a quick look. As you can see in this version hopefully in future releases you can actually I hope decide who should this uh, flow run as and, and so on as well, if you would like to do that. But it's not there in London, so let's cross our fingers. That's about it for me. Thank you for watching and have a good evening.